Welcome to our review on simple machines. First thing we need to do is understand what a few of these key terms we're going to use actually mean. A lever is a rod or other object that won't bend with a pivot, so that when we apply a force at one end, we produce a force in the opposite direction at the other end. And we will use these levers to transmit a rotational force. Second term, a force multiplier, this is a factor that's going to greatly increase the effectiveness as a force. And a lever is an example of a force multiplier. So by applying a relatively small force on one end, we can have a much larger force exerted on the other end. When we're actually exerting a force on the lever, that's known as the effort. And the load is the force we're trying to move. So if you have a look at the diagram underneath, then we've got a big boulder on one side. So that would be our load that we're trying to move. And then the actual effort would be us pushing on the end of the lever on the left hand side there. And the reason that we're going to use some of these simple machines that involve things like levers is because we can get a mechanical advantage. And the ratio of load to effort is this mechanical advantage. So we'd work it out by doing the load divided by the effort. And what we find is the work done by you is equal to the work done on the load. To give you an example of the kind of question you could be asked here, calculate the mechanical advantage of using a wheelbarrow to lift the load. So you'd have a diagram with a few key bits of information there. So the first thing we need to do is to calculate the force. So that's effort is our load times the distance from the pivot to the load divided by the distance from the pivot to the effort. So looking at our diagram, our load is 400 newtons. We times that by our 0.3, which is the distance from the pivot to the load. And then we divide that by 1.2, which is the distance from the pivot to the effort. And that gives us our effort of 100 newtons. The next thing to do is to calculate the ratio of the load to the effort. So we know that our load is 400. We know that our effort is 100. So 400 divided by 100 gives us an answer of 4. The next type of machine that we could use is one that involves gears. So the ratio of the diameters of the cogs tells us the ratio of the effort and the load. So in the diagram on the left, we've got cog A and cog B. Cog B has twice the diameter of cog A. So that means that the force will be multiplied by two, but it will only move half the distance of cog A. So it's got a much greater force, but moves a much smaller distance. Key things to remember about our gears is we can use them to change the direction of the rotating force or the speed at which it rotates. The last thing to consider are some other examples of force multipliers. So things like pulleys and ramps, much like that used by the ancient Egyptians when they were building those pyramids, those are examples of force multipliers. So if we're talking about a pulley system, we can use that to lift very heavy loads. If we're talking about a ramp, we can pull an object up an inclined plane, which reduces the actual amount of force that we need to exert to get that load up there. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can explain how levers and gears transmit the rotational effects of forces.